Greetings. This is Earthman from Origami Soil here to bring you a how-to video on how to make indigenous microorganisms. Indigenous microorganisms are a host of different organisms that live in very rich soil. This soil might be maybe in the Adirondacks underneath a really uh, old tree that's the ground around it is real spongy. Um, that's mycocillin that's underneath the, the leaves and underneath the dirt there that makes it spongy. Very, and if you dig it up, you'll notice a lot of little white streaks throughout that soil. That is um, the fungi that you want to harvest. So, um, or maybe uh, over by your leaf compost, and you got some really good uh, compost going with your leaves. And those leaves are being broken down uh, mainly by microorganisms that are in there excreting acids and enzymes that are um, basically breaking down all the nutrients, uh, all the leaves into nutrients for the following year or this year's uh, plants uh, for your uh, soil beds. And so um, uh, that's another uh, uh, place where you can get indigenous uh, microorganisms. Um, indigenous microorganisms are um, basically uh, uh, soil uh, organisms uh, that live in your particular uh, area, be it the northeast, southwest, or whatever, and um, they live in your soil, and they are there to help you assist your plant in keeping things good. Um, also, with uh, the more um, of the indigenous microbes that you have in your soil, uh, the less likely you're going to have pathogens coming in and causing blight or rot, uh, root rot or something else like that. Um, basically, they're, they're good bacteria that are going to crowd out the bad bacteria. And at the same time, um, like I said, uh, they excrete a lot of different liquids. And some of those liquids are uh, like antiseptic to other bacteria. And, um, and for other bacteria and fungi, they are a means of colonization because of the proteins emitted by some of the fungi allow uh, easier colonization for uh, your microbes under your soil. So uh, long story short, um, uh, IMOs for short are microorganisms that are in your soil, in your backyard, or in your leaf uh, bin, or some other rich, uh, life-rich compost soil source, uh, like I said, in a forest or wherever. Um, that's your determination. You have to do the research to find out where those rich uh, life sources are. Um, some people uh, bury their uh, um, product, uh, which we're going to use rice, and uh, they put it in a pantyhose and they put it in uh, like a pond next to bamboo. That's another way to get different type of microbes. The, 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 the more diverse amount of microbes you can put in your IMO, the better. Um, in other words, don't just get them from one source. If you can get them from a couple different sources, uh, the more uh, diversity you have, the more chances of um, your plant coming out even healthier and larger. So what we're going to do today is uh, very simple, and this is something you can do at home. It's, every, it's something that you have at your house somewhere. Um, and your cupboard or whatever and that is rice we're gonna take some rice and cook it and so um, I'll show you that uh, me putting the rice in and um, and then we're gonna cook it so here we go <music> 